Hey, this is Kyle with the Brickto Security, and today we're going to be continuing the Hack the Box starting point series with the Mon God box. Let's get going. All right, so I already have a box up and running here, so I'm going to go and grab our IP address, hop in Cali. We're going to do sudo nmap, put in our IP address. Now I'm going to expand out this parameter search to do all ports with p p. And since we're doing all ports, I'm going to try to get us a little faster right here doing min rates equals a thousand and also try to detect our version numbers. Now this search is gonna take a little while because we are doing all ports and doing version detection. So the in-map search will take a little bit. I'll join you back in a second. So it looks like we have two ports open here being SSH and MongoDB. SSH is the secure shell protocol and allows us to directly connect to a device. And MongoDB is just a database service similar to SQL or Oracle or MySQL, anything of that nature. Linux actually has a utility service called MongoDB that allows access into the Mongo database. So what I'm gonna do is copy this link over here. And we're gonna do the curl command curl just think of it as command line interface for a url and it allows us to have data transfer between a url site and us and then i'm going to add the dash capital o flag and that allows us to save the file in the current directory that we're in and here is that http that i'm going to paste in and I allowed that to transfer. We can see that we got a 46.2 meg download. So now that that is transferred, I'm gonna type ls. We can see that we have this download link as a tgz. We need to get that unzipped. In Linux, there's a command called tar, and then xvf for the flags that we're gonna use. And we're gonna do the mongo. Type ls again, and we can see that we now have essentially unzipped the G tgz file. We can cd into the mongo, type ls again. Let me bring that up to the top. And I'm gonna cd into the bin, ls on that. Now we have all these commands that are available to us. All right, so in order to run this, we are going to do dot slash, and then Mongo, and we're gonna do the dash H in order to get a help here. If we scroll up to the top, we can see the usage. So we're gonna do dot slash Mongo, any kind of options that we want, the database address and file names. It's going back down to the bottom here. We're gonna do dot slash Mongo, and then we're gonna do Mongo DB to say what kind of database it is. We're gonna do colon slash slash and our IP address that Hack the Box has given us. I'm gonna paste that in. And now I'm gonna specify what port this is actually on. If we scroll back up to our nmap scan, we see that it is port 27017. So port 27017. And this allows us an anonymous login we can see that we already have what looks to be a shell of some user. We can check this by seeing what kind of databases are available. If I do show DBS, we can see that we have the admin, config, local, sensitive information, and users databases available. Now there's a great link that I have that I'm gonna share in the description as well. This is by uh, Code with Harry. And you can see all the different commands that MongoDB allows us to do. So show DBS was what we just used to view all of our databases. Uh, we can view current database that we're in. And the next thing that we're gonna try to look at is to see what collections are available. So I'm gonna go back in here. I'm going to set the database that we are in. We're gonna do the use sensitive information. So now we have switched to the database of sensitive information. Now we're gonna see what collections are available in here. 
If I type show collections, we see that we have a flag that's available. In order to get that flag, let's check back in on that code with Harry site and see what we can do in order to grab that flag. We can view the rows that are within the collection doing the db.comments.find. And we can just make it a little prettier by doing the dot pretty. So I'm gonna copy this real quick. I'm gonna paste that in, but instead of comments, I'm gonna do flag because that was the collection that we use. And we now have the flag for our answer for hack the box. And let's go and answer some of these questions. How many TCP ports are open on the machine? Going back, take a look at the nmap scan. We can see that we have two TCP ports that are open. What service is running on port 27017 of the remote host? 27017 was MongoDB. Oh, what's the version number as well? So I'm gonna go back in and grab that. What type of database is MongoDB? SQL or NoSQL? This is a NoSQL database. What is the command name for the Mongo shell that is installed with the MongoDB client package? That is Mongo. That command was just what we ran after we installed the tool. Being the dot slash Mongo. What is the command used for listing all the databases present on the MongoDB server. That was show DBS. What is the command used for listing out the collections in a database? That was show collections. What is the command used for dumping the content of all documents within the collection named flag? in a format that is easy to read. I'm gonna go back in. I'm going to grab our db.flag.find.pretty. And submit our root flag. Copy that, paste that in. Nice. Congratulations on completing the Mongod box. I'll see you in the next one.